hello there YouTube welcome to my channel this is the Fugu investor in this video I am going to give you guys an update on my portfolio what stocks I'm buying what stocks I'm selling how my portfolio is doing how much gains I've had so far what are my biggest losers winners my biggest holdings and all the kind of good stuff with that said let's get right into it I have been investing for over four years now I follow the growth value dividend style of long-term investing I invest mostly in solid blue chip companies that either pay out good dividends or that have a solid business model that is essential essential for survival for today's society most of them they have low P by E ratios they have a lot of cash on hand they have uh, lower P by E ratio, lower forward P by E ratio than their P by E ratio. They have good leadership, good business models, and overall they're very solid businesses. Those are the type of companies that I invest in. Currently, I hold 24 companies, out of which two are ETF. So overall, I hold 22 companies in this portfolio. The biggest holdings are Apple, Google, Facebook, JP Morgan and Chase and tesla currently companies like apple tesla and etsy they have been going down due to the recent tech sell-off and i've been buying more of etsy all these 22 companies are spread out across different sector from consumer tech real estate to etfs to data centers to uh, companies like pepsico to companies like Disney, which is entertainment, to companies like Comcast, which is telecom, to companies like Duke Energy Corporation, which is a stable cash flowing business for electricity because it is government stabilized. Prices can't go up. So it's just it's just cash flow month after month stable. It's not going anywhere. The price is not going to fluctuate that much. There is not that much volatility, but the cash flow is 100% secure. And also, I own financial companies. I'm a big believer in JP Morgan and Chase. Uh, Capital One is also my second biggest holding. JP Morgan and Chase, I like the leadership. I like the business, how it's managed. I like the amount of cash they have on hand. And um, uh, Jamie Dimon, I mean, I believe in the person. I believe in the leader. And with Capital One, I think they're at the forefront of tech leadership and the tech banking. And uh, that's why I'm investing in them. And I think they have long ways to go. So those are my holdings i also have companies like shopify and companies like uh, etsy which are companies that are still up and coming they have still things to prove they have still very high p by e ratios but i believe in their business model i think it is very scalable and i think in the future um i think they are empowering a lot of people to become entrepreneurs and in the future there will be a huge demand for things like that as e-commerce is increasing and as uh, physical retail is, is slowing down people are uh, preferring more e-commerce going online and buying stuff and that will that will be a huge boost for companies like Shopify and Etsy and we are already seeing that I mean Etsy has almost quadrupled its revenues from uh, the last two years so th those are really good numbers really well managed company Etsy and a really good leadership Josh Silverman is the CEO and I mean, he's just a fantastic, he's managing the company really nicely. Uh, Shopify, uh, it's a Canadian company. It's really nicely managed and uh, they're very uh, trading at a very high valuation, very expensive stock. But I think this will do very, very well in the markets that are coming because more and more people are looking to become self-dependent, looking to become online entrepreneurs and looking to become uh, uh, e-commerce shoppers rather than going to retail rather than uh you know working traditional jobs people are more and more focusing on finding out ways to make money online and shopify is one of the ways that empowers that one of the companies that empowers that so i think there is a huge market for uh, companies like this and also amazon is not competing in this space with shopify because shopify has a niche of its own while amazon um they, they can't compete with them on in on this space and in this market and that's what makes it even more secure it's position even more secure so i'm also investing in companies like this and then i have a canadian pacific railway a really good business really old business they just recently had a stock split and um i bought the stock at i think 351 and now they went 
four times split. So I got, I, so I got like my stocks almost quadrupled, whatever the amount of stocks I had. Also, I have Target. Target, I am a huge believer in Target. I think the way they are doing things online and now they are like, you know, they have a customer of their own. They have a niche of their own. And that's what I like to see. Uh, moving on, I also have Realty Income Corp, which is like a monthly dividend paying REIT. They own uh, stores like uh, Surf Shop and couple multiple different companies, Home Depot. They have those stores that are uh, that are like uh, real estate properties. And um, I really like this business model. And uh, I think uh, they're, they're a good business to own, uh, followed by Equinix. Uh, they own data centers. So data centers are, uh, we are becoming a data hungry species. And we will need data centers in the future to support our, our needs of data. And that's why I hold Equinix, because I believe that data centers will be the business of the future. And uh, Equinix will, uh, is the biggest data center uh, uh, company in the world. And I think it will benefit a lot from that trend. I also hold companies like Johnson & Johnson and FB. Johnson & Johnson is trading at a P by E ratio of 17. Very safe dividend pair. Very, very safe dividend pair. I mean, if you have a list of companies that are the safest investments for dividend investors, Johnson & Johnson is one of them. Followed by FB as well. Because Johnson & Johnson is so well diversified across international markets and across different products different segments of products that are available in all the places everybody has a johnson and johnson product almost in their house not even in this country but in every other country as well and um, yeah so that's why i believe in this uh, in this company and uh, this is also my long-term hold and uh, i keep buying into it keep buying into it i love the amount of dividend they pay i also have companies like paypal uh, paypal is uh, the leader in its market of uh, uh, fintech and uh, i think it'll stand to do really really well in the coming years i think it should just started this fintech revolution where people are uh, using these apps to do transactions like paypal and square and i think it's just started and paypal is a leader in that and it's the forefront so that's why i'm a long-term investor in paypal as well comcast uh, they have uh, cnbc comcast they have xfinity comcast they have uh, the cable business so I am very hopeful that Comcast has a really good solid business model, very well managed. It's a family owned business, so it's very well managed. And I think it'll continue to do well, less bureaucracy. Um, so I think it'll continue to do well as long as, uh, you know, uh, it's managed like this and, you know, it generates the cash flow that it's generating right now. So uh, those are some of the businesses that I hold. I have Disney. I'm a long-term hold believer in Disney. Of a Disney Plus coming out and the parks opening up. I think Disney is just uh, they canceled their dividend during the pandemic, but I think it's just a, it's just a great company overall. And I also have safe companies like 3M. Um, 3M products. I mean, you're never too far away from a 3M product. It's a great company to hold. Great dividend pair. A lot of cash on hand. Very well managed. Of course, I have companies like PepsiCo, Home Depot. Um, both these companies, they are, uh, you know, recession proof, pandemic proof, uh, in my opinion, uh, because Home Depot during this pandemic, I mean, it was filled. The people, people were in the stores, like it was filled up. People were not uh, backing away from going to Home Depot because people are doing a lot of things at their houses. And um, I think it's really a great company to hold. I think they are not in competition with anybody like Amazon or anything. Um, so I think it's a great business to hold in your portfolio. Also hold companies like Facebook, which is a really great company. I, it was available at such a great price. Uh, I paid by a ratio of 24 when I bought it. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a really great business. And they have had some headwinds. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg, he's had some trouble with the government and uh, all that. But I think that's temporary. And in the long term, Facebook will do really well. I mean, the amount of users and the amount of people that use this app, it's just amazing. It, I mean, there are 8 billion people on this planet. And almost 3 billion people are on their platforms. That is just staggering. You know, it's like half of the world, almost half of the world is using this app. So I'm a huge believer in Facebook, the way they are uh, making money through marketing, the way they're making money through user interaction and, uh, you know, data and all that kind of stuff. So I'm a huge believer in them. And uh, that's why I invest in this company. And also it was available at such an attractive price. I just couldn't miss it. Also, Google, I will keep buying Google more and more and more, no matter how expensive it gets. I will keep buying it. This company, I'm telling you, even if this company is selling for $3,000 a stock today, it's still a cheap buy. 
it is still a cheap buy and I'm not exaggerating this is a great company to hold in your portfolio if you don't hold Google you're missing out hold VYM and I hold JEPI and ETFs VYM is a Vanguard high dividend yield ETF it's a really great ETF to hold you know very safe investment followed by JEPI JEPI is a JP Morgan Chase is a product um, so I like the brand name JP Morgan and Chase they also give out really great dividend and uh, yeah so that is why I hold them um, and I made a video on JPI and you can go and watch that why, why I think it's a good it's a good uh, investment uh, they don't grow that much but they have a really good cash flow so for my portfolio uh, my current dividend yield is uh, 1.63 percent and my annual income from my portfolio is 2546 that's just the dividends 2546 dollars every year that comes to about 212 212 dollars per month somewhere around that number my portfolio beta is 1.02 which is the uh, vol volatility of the of the portfolio compared to the s p 500 so that is a uh, so if, if it's below one that is that means it, it's less volatile than s p 500 it's 1.02 it's almost the same amount of volatility as the s p 500 so i think that's a really really safe number and yeah these are my holdings uh, my highest dividend pair in this portfolio is jepi which pays me 500 dollars every year uh, which is the etf by jp morgan and chase i like that dividend income i really like that dividend income my second highest dividend pair in this portfolio is uh, jp morgan and chase which pays me a dividend of 236 dollars followed by avi which pays me a dividend of 229 dollars so that's a really great dividend from these companies and um, i think uh, i'm going to keep investing in this portfolio and uh, as i said i'm a value long-term growth value and dividend investor so growth companies like google like facebook value companies like pepsico like home depot like capital one like jp morgan and chase and then dividend companies like abby like duke energy company these are the three type of companies that i hold in this portfolio for the long term and uh, they have to be available at a good price uh, i mean there are exceptions like shopify and etsy but most of them i bought them at really good p by e ratios um, and that is my strategy buy companies at a good p by e ratio and then hold them for the long term and they have to fall in each of these categories either it's a growth company it's a value company or it's a dividend paying company so that's the update on my portfolio and my strategy of investing um, please let me know what you guys think subscribe to the channel subscribe click subscribe click that bell icon let me know in the comments down below what you guys think which companies do you hold how's your portfolio doing how are you guys investing for the long term your goals your dreams your vision let me know subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments down below thanks for watching this is the frugal investor signing out